going to get spayed today. Another one. Actually, I forgot that she's going today. And she just got caught off guard. But she's on her way to get spayed. She'll be back a little later. That's Enzo shouting at me to come and say hi. But I just have to quickly fill up this hole. I already started. So yeah, something the doggies gave me for today. A quick little job to do. Okay, so this used to be a little thing where we used to stand on. If we want to do something, the dogs have taken it apart. And the monkeys are watching us cleaning it up. 12 years old yesterday. I'm pretty sure this little one with the red around his neck, that's the naughtiest one of the lot. Because every time I see something going on and I just look around, well, he's the one in charge. And then I just found the spider web here as I'm cleaning up. Just look at that spider right over there. And he's got, well, it seems like two nets that he spun. One there, one round about there. And look how he used a zip tie to tie the two together. I didn't even know that spiders had those available. Monkeys are just playing here. But the spider did make his web out of reach. Because if they get him, they will just take that spider web down. Oh, he just playing and eating. I'm still trying to get any video footage of Arnie not eating, but it's difficult, but we'll keep on trying. I'm sure one day we will have it and we would see what he does when he's not eating. <laughs> if there's anyone that can identify this plant, I don't know if you should call it a plant or a tree because it grew so quick. And it's changing, those little beads are changing at the moment. They are becoming like a deep purple. And I don't, I'm not sure what you call this, but I don't want to just take it out. But it did just grow in here. Just look at that. It just grew in here so quick. Can you believe it? And then, of course, cleaning up after the dogs every morning. Something that's not avoidable. But almost done. It takes a few minutes every single day. Well, sometimes two. Well, sometimes three times a day. But almost done. And then getting around to the playing areas. Just look at what mess they've made here. They love playing, but every time they play with stuff, they do make quite a mess of it. But I'm going to be doing that now. And then also giving the tigers new water. Because Diego likes to pull this piece of synthetic lawn around. And then he just throws out the water. So that is next that I have to do. I'm going to be doing it now. Something tells me I need to go inside here. And go take out all these buckets. Because... They are becoming a bit much. Sometimes I feed the tigers two or three times on a day, just giving them different things. Not that I feed them three times a day, but just sometimes it's three different kinds of meat or something. And then the buckets just pile up. So let me go get them out of there. Make sure when you close up the tigers or if you go in there to get these things out of there that you have locked yourself in. So much easier then, because when you're bending down to pick up one of these buckets and Diego comes charging from the back at 60 kilometers an hour, you are not going to be able to, well, to clean up further. He just likes to pull this lawn around. So I'm going to just pull it back 
in there like that so easy and it's done <laughs> just quickly putting them this side and I'm um, getting a chance to go in here pick up all their buckets and then as I walk in here into their little viewing area to the dogs I find the tiger whisker right over there let's look for some more and there's another one right over there the dogs are they can't believe that they've missed it so inside their little area here I want to show you something when a tiger walks and he gets to the other side like over here look at the way on the synthetic lawn right over there this is totally running in this direction and look how it turns because when he puts his foot down there and he turns he actually needs something to turn with his foot so I have had some kind of a bearing in here with a round surface and then if they step on it when they get to the side and they turn around that their foot does not get too much wear because I actually saw on Enzo's foot that he had a bit of a problem because of that so something that you can keep in mind if you ever want to keep a tiger perfectly you need to put a bearing with a surface for his foot to turn on when he gets to that side <laughs> just something small about tigers and Diego has decided to come and join us right over here <laughs> The second friendliest tiger in the world. <laughs> and he's always making his sounds. Gonna unlock here, let them in. Diego! <laughs> Locking it. Second gate as well. I think the second one is more to keep the cats from going in than for the tigers to come out. <laughs> Whiskey has decided to get up. <laughs> She's just going to the other side, but still has not taken her in for her operation. I have spoken to the doctor yesterday, but not yet have we decided exactly when to do it, to remove the lump from underneath her belly. Mama Cat just coming to say hi to Diego. First thing Diego does in the morning when he gets up is pull a funny face. Watch out for that tail. Luckily I know about that tail when he gets up. First thing he wants to do is pee on you. And maybe he finds it very funny. I don't know. And that's the face Diego pulls when he's almost peed on me right now luckily i got away with it and he is able to go and do whatever he like walking around he's going to say hi to the dogs enzo there as well little spider cat right here also coming to see the tigers his little sister will be back later she went into the vet today to get spayed, so I'm expecting her back within the next few hours. Yep, I don't think I should have more kittens right now. I think we have enough. Friendliest cat in the world, she just quickly came also. She was also done yesterday or two days ago. She got spayed. Grandma cat also here. <laughs> Doggies just being themselves. Mm, that's why this place looks like that. <laughs> Bringing the buckets into the house. All the cats approaching Bucky. And just look at little Frenius cat in the world. Bringing it over here. Vegetarian cat still busy with his pellets. Placing it down because it needs to be washed. If you've got one hand, you need to know that your water filter system has got a lock position so you can give vegetarian cats some clean water. 
without the need to keep the handle down. Filling up these pellets because when he's done, he's gonna leave nothing for the others. Greenest cat in the world already just opening the door for me. <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna have to close her up probably in the cupboard. Let's see if she gets out. How do you call Freyne's cat in the world? I think the x -x 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 thing is gonna work better than actually calling Freyne's cat in the world come out. Don't think that's gonna work very well. Going out. See the tigers? Oh yes, the canvases. Why will I not use those whiskers on a painting? I mean, it could work pretty well. Well, if I can find a whisker that is the size of my finger, because my paintings are a bit huge. Now I can probably put one or two in every painting. And I think I probably will. But I will have to use the thickest one I can find and use it on the part where you basically need the thinnest one. So look at this. This has been painted. Now I do have a tree outside that gives me something that looks very similar to a tiger whisper. Whisker, sorry. And I think I'm going to use that to just look like these whiskers but it is difficult painting them because a paintbrush does not really do it exactly like you would want it so that's a great idea although the problem is also there is laws against tiger parts being shipped and what if one of my paintings will be shipped one day uh, I don't want to get anyone in trouble with that so gonna just have to mark it very clearly so it can be declared if it needs to. Enzo going for his morning walk. He's been walking for a good two minutes now and he's already out of breath. Now make that five minutes. Diego has decided that this walking thing is not for him. He will rather just watch Enzo walking there for the next few minutes. Okay, Enzo is getting out of breath now. He is really pushing himself, staying fit. <laughs> Turning around, being friendly, greeting me, and then going straight ahead with his morning walk. But he just almost caught that piece of fruit over there. This tree, it's got some fruits that comes down. And yeah, sometimes there's a lot of bees. Yesterday when we were cleaning inside their enclosure, I actually heard a swarm of bees right in there. Let me see if I can get it. On that branch over there, it was full of bees. Let's see if we can see them. Yeah, there they are. I can still see them. Katas came to walk with me since I only got to this side now. She's been here for a while. Watching the tigers. This is her favorite thing to do. And it never gets old. This is what it looks like when your tiger is going for a walk. But he does not want to leave your side. He just turns around right there. Because now he is still keeping up the pace. But he is not going away from me, because if he walks to the other side, well, maybe I won't be here when he gets back. So, look at that. Look at him turning around, just quickly checking the gate. And he's coming back. And he's trying to keep that pace. I can see, look at his mouth open, breathing, keeping fit. He is such a good boy. And he's got a big heart. <laughs> Little Miss Sassy Pants has 
joined us. Just look at her there. <laughs> the cats chasing her. They just play. <laughs> she has got this name. One of you guys have said that. I can't remember exactly who. I will go find the comment again. But yes, she is little Miss Sassy Pants. <laughs> and I didn't say anything, but before she was named that, I was actually calling her Sassy. I don't know how that happened, but it's so her name. Absolutely perfect for her. And she's not afraid at anything. So these tigers better watch it. Little Miss Sassy Pants still running around here. She's just checking everything out. She does not come this side often. I think this is her second time that I've seen her over here. But she's just exploring everything. And I want to bring her three little sisters down here as well. But she is clearly the quickest learner of them all. But at least they don't fit through these fences anymore. So that is a good thing. They are now able to come this side. Billy is inside the house. I keep him this side mostly because he is also a little different to the other dogs. He doesn't really like to be bothered by them. But let's see, where's the little kittens? And here they are. She will be going down within the next few minutes. And here's the other two. That little eye is still healing up, getting better and better every single day. I am so impressed. Now I want people to know that that eye looked very bad at one stage. I've seen some pictures of eyes on cats that were removed because of that look. And I want to tell you, they can recover. So, she just started recovering. And uh, I don't think, if it comes to that point where her eye needs to be removed, that you should. I think you should take it easy and wait a little longer. Because it looked bad. And it came right. And she's going to have full perfect vision throughout her life it's going to take another month or so to get that cloudiness out maybe a bit longer and look at little miss sassy pants over there i don't know how they learn so quick took her a few days to just become a cat that can go outside and run around where the others are still upstairs they do go down, but not like she does. Diego, waiting for me to keep my mouth shut so he can sleep a little. She just keeps on going. Look at that body language. She's not going to be pushed around by any other cat. Well, maybe that one. <laughs> so many things happening here on a daily basis. If I really have to record everything and post it, I would do it. But it would just simply be too much. So I am working on a system on getting more information out of what I do every day. Just to show people how my life is. Because I do a lot of things, but sometimes within 10 seconds three things can be done and there was no time to record it she is still just playing over here she just ran in there she is let's see if she does something funny nope See if they do something funny. Yeah, kind of. It's always nice if you point the camera in the tiger's direction and they do something funny. But they don't always do it. Sometimes you have to wait quite a while. And hmm, 
So sometimes a video can take hours to make to find that perfect footage. Although I have to say with these boys, I can actually just make a video all day long and I think it will be per it will be kind of entertaining. She is looking better and better. And just look at this. While the dogs are sleeping, they like to chew on stuff. And sometimes your house are being chewed. She is going to go check what is going on here. Little ones have got grandma cat cornered right there. And look how his hair is just, her hair is just starting to raise on her back. But there's no problem over here. They're just looking. I mean, that is their grandma. One of my friends come to visit me just now. And uh, yeah, he's won the South African bodybuilding championships or 26 times. So, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna give the tiger some filter water to drink. This water comes from a water purification system, reverse osmosis, five stage with the UV light and the filters the water and takes out anything that's not supposed to be in there but I don't know if it's gonna fill up this water bowl but I want to give the tiger some of this water and just see if they react differently to it because how do you really know but I can tell that this water looks different if you put it in a glass compared to water in or just the normal water out of the tap into a glass. There is a slight color difference. I can pick it up, but I don't know if it's gonna fill it up. I don't think so. I can see it's already starting to go a little bit down. Vegetarian cat right here, just eating his pellets. Bucky over here, that can fill up. Let's take a look at Diego or Enzo. Where they are, there he is. He's waiting for his water. Diego. <laughs> and Enzo. So, yeah, little experiments that I like to run. And uh, it's not experiments, but it's things that I like to know. Uh, if tigers can pick that up. And let's see, maybe he drinks all of that water just because he wants to. <laughs> Diego is just talking a little as he walks around. They're actually up the whole day already today. They haven't gone to sleep yet. So I can see that they do change according to weather patterns. They will just decide one day now they want to be up the whole day and sleep at night. When it's hot, they tend to want to sleep during the day. So they make these adjustments constantly. And I think you need to pay so much attention before you realize things like that. But Enzo is just himself today. Sometimes I can see that he changes a little bit. Look at that dove over there. Hanging out. Right there. Enzo is so calm and relaxed. And Diego, let's see what he does when he goes to that dub. Let me control Diego to go there. Now, he still goes further than normal. Okay, so the bucket is almost filled up with water. Quite surprised that it is able to use I can actually see in this water that it is sparkling clean. Just look at that. So, Bucky just watching. Let me take this water. It's a bit heavy. But 
tigers are probably going to think that there's something to eat in here. So, I'm going to have to just put it down here first. <laughs> Diego, yes, I can read his mind. He's thinking, what is in there? sitting here with sassy cat we're waiting in front of the water bowl for Enzo or Diego to come and drink some water because we want to film him in slow motion in super slow motion but we've been waiting for a while and he just keeps on walking right past us but it'll happen soon we've got the whole day slight change of plan today I have to go pick up the little kitty cat and I'm on my way. Not this one. Not this one. Luckily not this one. So she'll be back within half an hour. And not this one. So as I'm driving out, which one is coming to say goodbye to me? And it is Diego. See you later, Diego. And I got her, and she's perfectly fine, on her way back. Almost home. Already opened the gate from the corner there. Let's see which tiger comes to visit me first. Well, Diego's not there. She's so friendly, we just bonded a bit now in the car. And it's Diego! <laughs> just get her out. And she's out. And the little ones are fed as well. Just gotta do the ones downstairs and I should be done. And this is what they'll be having tonight. Mince meat and eat a couple of pieces of steak. This is quite a lot. It's quite heavy. I'm not putting any more water in it because then I won't be able to carry it with one hand. So, yeah, let's go see how they like this. Back from the vet and already looking perfect. I've got a tin of cat food here for her. Let me go give it to her. She loves this so much, so I got it especially for her. Come, kitty cat. Come. Ah, now she doesn't want to come through. I'm going to put it there in any way, because she will come. I've already given the cats also a little meat, same as the tigers, but and when you've got only one hand to do this, this is how you do it. Sometimes you have to just make a plan. And I really like to always put a little of the calcium powder right on their food. It just makes it much better. Because I know that bone density, you want that as high as possible. So I just sprinkle that on there. And that will be absolutely great. Well guys, thanks for watching. This is about it for today. I'm still going to have to do the dogs though. Okay, wait. I'm going to still do their food as well. And the dogs are ready for their food. So, here it is. I'm just adding some this dog food in there and then I'm going to mix it and I'm getting all that meat up into it that just makes them love it with a lot of water mixing it like this and then I'm going to go over to the bucket okay my hands are running out here I'm just going to turn this a little bit so I can hold it and I'm putting it in their buckets And 
now they're gonna eat. Just look at that. Happy dogs, except for whiskey. I will have to make her her own little get her, her own bucket. Let's take this away from them quickly. Do this. Put it there. Give this to her. There you go, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. Just so she can eat as well. Ah, 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 13, he's so. I have to eat this side. Everything is in there. Everything going perfectly well. Okay. Diego, happy. Still got some meat on my hands, but look at, look at that. No problem. Because he's had enough to eat. Monkeys, let's quickly see if I can get a monkey or two. I think they're already gone home. Sissy over there, oh no, that is MacGyver. And, buddy. And there is Arnie. Is it Arnie? It's, no, there is Arnie over there. So, they've not been picked up yet. Quickly walk through here, see which other monkeys are still here. No, they're gone. I'm gonna convert this into another cage right from this side up to that side, up until here. I have to run the whole cage over here. That would be much better, and we can have quite a few extra monkeys in there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a quick part of my day. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna end the videos here cause it's gonna be a little bit of a problem when I've got Arnie with me and when all the monkeys start going home. I'll do what I can, but I think this is where I'm gonna end showing you how my day was today. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.